1855, Livingston discovered the awesome spectacle of nature that would later become known as Victoria Falls. And in May 1856, he would become the first European to cross the width of Southern Africa. He left Africa in 1856, for the first time returning to the UK, where he had become a national hero of almost mythic stature. Livingston published his reports on slavery and got funding from the British government to do a second expedition. However, he failed to produce anything substantial enough for the government and they withdrew their funding. Returning home for a second time during the 1860s, Livingston secured a private sponsorship and set out for his third African adventure. Nothing was heard from Livingston for almost three years until a young Welsh journalist by the name of Henry Morton Stanley was commissioned by the New York Herald to find the Scotsman. Traversing most of Livingston's original route, along with 200 porters, he eventually caught up with the good doctor in 1871 at the town of Ujiji on the shores of Lake Taganyika. It was here that the Welshman spoke the famous words, Dr. Livingston, I presume. While he travelled, he's discovering animals and plants and, and, you know, things that we had never recognised before. He was never quite sure to turn around and say, oh look at this, I've discovered a whatever. So he would take samples or he would do minute drawings and descriptions of, of um, you know, rocks and plants and things in the hope that they'd be able to be made into medicine. Brought that home for botanists to study and the, the, the botanists admitted, Livingston found this, we didn't know about this. Um, there are animals that Livingston saw and, and he described the animals and he, he came back to tell the zoologist about it and he said, he would say, I don't, I don't think this animal has been discovered yet, have a look at it. And again, they would come back and say that, that Livingston did find this first for them. So where Livingston might not be comfortable with the word he discovered, because he'll say, no, the people who lived there told me about it. Um, he is recorded as, as bringing this information to us. And the way that they've, they've celebrated that is the word Livingstonii is in the middle of the Latin animal's name or the Latin plant's name. You get the Livingstonii as evidence that it was Livingston who first brought that to our notice. So, so you know, botanists and zoologists and geologists actually know Livingston's other contributions to knowledge um, from Africa. Now 60, Livingston had become ill with several health problems. And despite Stanley's pleas for him to return home, the good doctor refused to leave his beloved Africa. Seeing that all hope was lost in Livingston returning to the UK, Stanley decided to head home. Dr David Livingston, explorer and missionary, died aged 60 in 1873, whilst living in a Zambian village. Legendary adventurer, renowned doctor, mythic missionary, prolific writer, a hero to all during his time. David Livingston was all these things and much, much more. But what we cannot forget is that he was once an ordinary man who rose from poverty and sought out his own destiny in a far off, terrible and exciting land. And no matter what you call him, one thing is undeniable. Dr. David Livingston truly is the stuff of legend. I'm Rich Money. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow. We ain't even thinking that far. You know what I mean?